Hello and welcome to another video. In this short video today, I'm going to reveal the quickest and easiest fix to this issue, how to get the head mesh back onto your MetaHuman rig. And the solution is so simple, you'll kick yourself for not noticing it sooner. The issue has come from trying to use this MetaHuman Maya file. And if you watched my previous video, I showed how using this Maya file was easier to use when creating your own custom rig or when trying to retarget mocap in Maya. Instead of using the full blown MetaHuman Maya file that contains all the extra skeleton nodes and the facial controls. But more recently, when using this same file for other MetaHuman characters, the head mesh has been missing and there's only meshes for the body and the footwear for the character. And this seems to have come about after some updates from Epic and Quixel. Now I've seen videos from people importing meshes into the scene um, and then they've been trying to get them onto the rig uh, or merged in and they've been reasonably successful. But if you're not that experienced at rigging and all you want is to have the file in the same state as before, then you might feel stuck and you're not sure what to do. But don't worry, there's a solution and you don't need to do any importing or merging of data. Now this Maya file is the default Maya file that gets downloaded with your MetaHuman character. The additional file, the full blown Maya rig file with all the extra controllers, that only gets created when you export your MetaHuman from Quixel into Maya using the Quixel export process down here at the bottom right. So what I've done here is I've downloaded a whole new MetaHuman character uh, and I've chosen the same options that I did previously. So for the, uh, the model, for example, the MetaHuman had the Unreal asset and the source asset. I checked all the LODs and also the high poly source data. Then if we find our source files in Windows Explorer, this is the actual rig file. And you can do this by simply going to um, Quixel and go back to the main character, click on these three dots here and, and click the option that says go to files. And that will open up the Windows Explorer. And if you go through a few of the subdirectories, I've got listed here, then there'll be a Maya file here. And then this is that same Maya file loaded into Maya, Maya 2022.3. Now I'm in Y up mode in Maya. So what I've done is I've just selected the skeletons group node here and then applied a minus 90 offset here in the X axis just to make sure things are nicely aligned. As you can see, our rig has got no head mesh. And we want to have the same head and body that we had previously. So what we do, go to the outliner and choose the LOD zero group here and click uh, the box to expand it. Here you will see the body mesh and the mesh for the uh, character's footwear. But note there's another mesh which is currently hidden. And I've not hidden this. It's in that state when the file is actually loaded. But select it and unhide it and we get a full body and head mesh combined that fully works with the rig. Now the material will look a little bit odd, um, but we can select the head and then quickly just um, assign, uh, reassign the existing Lambert, which is actually in the scene. And now if we select any of the joints in our rig and rotate them, you'll see everything all still works. Just in the same way they did before in the previous file. And that's it, really. There's no need to import anything. The issue is simply down to the mesh being hidden when previously it wasn't. And I checked back at some of the previous MetaHuman characters that I've been working with, and also the files that I used in my original video. And the file is basically the same. The same three meshes are contained in the LOD0 group, except on those files, the the body mesh here is hidden and the combined mesh is visible by default. So essentially what's happened in an update is the state of this data has been swapped around. Now I don't know if anyone has spotted this because I've seen some videos by people trying all kinds of things to fix this. So I thought I'd do this short video in case it's just been missed. If all you want is a simple combined head and body mesh for your metahuman character, then you know the solution has been staring you in the face all along. So I hope that was of some help. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.